Today we're playing with a completely random bag. This is in hopes to show you guys some new plastic that maybe you've never heard about before and also for me to throw some new plastic and learn some new discs just for the fun of it. We have the Clash Discs Honey, the Wild Honey 12.5 negative 2.2 as our distance driver. We have a Lone Star Mockingbird 7.5 negative 2.1 as our fairway driver. Our next fairway driver is the Tasmanian Devil by Wild Discs. This is a company that really I don't know if a lot of people have heard about. 9.404 so should be a good forehand disc for us. Next from Wild Discs is the Odix, Adix, how the heck do you say that? I don't know. It's a mid-range 5501. From Mint Discs we have another mid-range, overstable mid-range 5402 and a half. And then this is a Thought Space Muse. I've never ever really heard about this disc before. I never even took the sticker off of it when I received it, so I've never thrown it in my life. I'm not sure the flight numbers on this, but I'll try to get that for you guys. I'm gonna do a quick field test with each of these discs. Give them a quick throw, see how they're flying, just so we're not completely blind going into this. If you're not interested, skip a little bit ahead, and that's when we'll start playing. Oh, she's flippy. Oh, that's gonna be a good mid-range for us today. <laughs> Pretty straight. Basically, just gonna play a quick nine here, see how it goes. Hole one. I think it's about 300 feet, but it is uphill, so it's kind of a pump. I'm gonna start off with this Wild Honey. Seems like it's kind of a nice flip-up driver. I've done a full video of this disc, and I actually really liked it. It's just been a long time since I've thrown it elsewise. Oh, it's gotta skip. A little too low. I'm gonna go Bobcat here, over stable mid-range. Probably great for forehands that you're trying to throw in. Oh baby, that would have been a good debut for it. I might go ahead and rip a few off of hole two here, but it's mainly about hitting the gap. It's a par four, 435, I feel like is, that might be semi-accurate, I'm not sure. Like I said, it's more about hitting this gap, so I'm gonna try to be a little bit more controlled with the Mockingbird, see if we can flip it up. <sighs> it's awful. I'm hardly throwing it now. When in doubt, just throw as hard as you can. <sighs> Miss it. Oh my gosh, that was almost the best shot ever, and now it could be lost. I feel like this could be a slept on mid-range. The Audix. Oh yeah, that's the best one. That's right in the middle of the fairway. I did yank it a little bit, got a little lucky, but I actually like that mid. Here's where that mid-range landed, so you can tell this hole is not far at all. If you hit the gap, it's a very easy par four. If not, an eagle. I'm gonna try to give my best bit at this. Also, I don't really care about score that much today. I'm just out here throwing discs, so I'll probably just take my best one. Oh wow, I thought we threw in our first one with that putter. I don't know why, but this putter just feels like a tank in my hand. I don't necessarily like it actually. No offense to Thought Space. Kind of dark in here, hole three, par four. This one's a big left hooking shot. Should be great for this Tasmanian devil. This thing seems like a beefcake. Just get out of the gap on Heiser. It's really not that far to the opening. You definitely don't want to overshoot it and you don't want to go too straight either because then the approach is a bit harder. If you can even see that out there, that should be okay. I could have went even more inside, but it should be fine. If you guys are not yet subscribed, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Big push to 6,000 by the end of the month. I think we can do it. Actually, I know we can. So if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Help me out and I'd appreciate that. Now you can kind of see why I wanted to be a little bit more inside. I even could have pushed this a little bit further actually, but this thing is mighty stable. So that might've been hard to do. Oh yeah, I actually flashed the basket there. If you guys wanna see any videos or have any ideas, please put those in the comments. They could be reviews, challenges, whatever you wanna see, put down in the comments. I've been pretty close to doing dailies besides the weekends for like four or five months now, and ideas sometimes are at a low. So if you have something you wanna see, let me know. Hole four, about 350 downhill. I think my go-to would be the Mockingbird on this one, so we'll start with it. If I don't get this to flip up, I'm gonna be semi-annoyed. 
Oh yeah, that's gonna be so good. Wow, that just kept going. That was such a straight flight. Didn't overpower it, but powered it just enough to get a nice little flip up the flat and it just kept pushing straight. Tasmanian Devil one will be kind of cool if we can throw the right line. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is equally as cool, if not cooler. The last one we'll throw is the Attics. Oh, turned it a little. Man, that thing is so straight though. If I put it on the good line, the first two shots made me look good at the game. Tell you what, I think the crew neck was a bad idea. Getting a little toasty. Hole five is gonna be perfect for the Tasmanian Devil. As long as we can get it out wide enough, it's a 270 foot par three. You wanna go wide of this middle tree and just kinda of have it spike in. You don't wanna to go too far because there is a pond behind the basket that can get a little sketchy. Man, that thing gets left in a hurry. Big skip. It's gonna be a death putt, but you know what? We run everything on this channel. I'm gonna try the Bobcat as well. I just don't know if it gets there. This thing is ultra beefy as well. <clears throat> yep, it's just, I think that's um, too beefy for me. I could see myself using the Bobcat a lot on the forehand approaches, but I probably wouldn't throw too many backhands with it. <clears throat> And that's a mid-range. That should check up a little bit better. Yeah, still skips a little bit, but you know what, guys? That's an underrated mid. The Audix and the Tasmanian Devil, pretty much the same putt here. I thought this was gonna be a scary putt because I thought we were shorter, but the pond isn't even in play behind the basket from here, unless we get a roll. So far, so good. Some good plastic we brought out here today. My least favorite is probably this putter, but that doesn't mean it's flying bad or putting bad. It's just, I don't really like the feel of it. We got par four. Uh, this one's off and to the right side. Your tee shot, you don't wanna land too right unless you can travel the distance of the pin, which looks like it's about 315, 330. So it's definitely doable. I'm not gonna try to do it just because I wanna try to throw this uh, Tasmanian Devil on forehand. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh my goodness, and the skip, that could be a putt. Probably a little short though. This actually is a scary putt because there is OB behind the basket, but what did I say earlier? We run everything on this channel. <sighs> Got it. That's embarrassing. Hole seven is just two little chip shots. You just wanna be in the middle of this fairway, then you're gonna pitch across the creek and hopefully take your birdie. I'm gonna try to go with the Bobcat here. Little flex, because if we throw this flat, good chance it lands in the creek. That may have been a really good tree. I hardly threw that. It was coming out very quickly. This drive needs to go like 20 feet further and it's perfect. I'm gonna throw the Muse across the creek because if we lose it, I could care less. Or we're just gonna throw a beauty. Easy birdie. There's a lot of easy birdies here as long as you stay in the fairways. If you're off the fairways, they can become somewhat tricky. Hole eight is back over the creek, 222 feet. Look what you can do with this putter, by the way. A little taco now. I'm gonna throw it backhand and hope we don't lose it. Oh, what a kick, dude. Little bit more turn, but that kicked right out of bounds. Bring this back in from OB and see if we can save the par. That putter has like a little bit of stability on the back end of it. I feel like my wardens are a lot straighter, but that flies straight until the very end and like kind of dumps hard. So sometimes today when I've leaked them a little bit right, I feel like they're just gonna hyzer into the basket. All right, we got a whole nine here. The last one we're gonna play today. That way I can get home, edit, and you guys will have a video to watch today. This one just kind of bends to the right the whole way. If it's in long, it's a little bit more difficult. I'm just gonna try to throw a nice little hyzer with the honey. See if we can get down there a ways. <clears throat> Missed that branch. Dude. Sometimes it's the littlest twigs in a tree 
that was gonna be so good. It was going so straight too. So it is in long. I don't know if I can necessarily get to it now. Uh, this is more of a poke and pray on the left side with a forehand. <sighs> Miss it. Oh my, what a kick. I love disc golf. I'm so pinched off here that it's one of those shots where you're not gonna be able to see the shot. Go Bobcat, hi Annie. <sighs> if you could imagine, I hit a tree. Not the worst tree I've ever hit. I still have a look. Probably just could have been a little closer. <sighs> Ching. All right guys, there was my little rundown of a few discs that really never leave my collection. So it's fun to get out and throw them a little bit, show you guys some new plastic possibly. I think the most underrated one here is this Audix uh, 5501, like I said, and this thing I feel like is just dead straight. My least favorite being this putter right here from Thought Space, the Muse. Uh, it just doesn't really feel comfortable in my hand. It's not really, I'm not calling it a bad disc. It's just not for me, I don't think. The Mockingbird is just very touchy for me. I think I would need a lot more time but you can get some pretty solid flights out of it. Anyway, guys, that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Road to 6,000. Here we come. Thank you guys for all the support, and we will see you on the next one.